Hello guys, welcome to a brand new series. So today I am starting Behind the Breed. This is a series where I try to do a bunch of research on a breed of horse that is found in Star Stable. And today I am starting with my favorite, which is the Shire Horses. The Shire Horses are known as draft horses or heavy horses which means that they are mainly used for working, such as farming, plowing fields, pulling carts, delivering ale, and used in wars. But in today's age, they are mostly used for forestry and leisurely riding. Shire horses have been known to be very docile, gentle, hardworking, and easy to train. They are also the largest horses to come from the English native horses. Draft horses such as Shire horses are recognized by their tall stature, their muscular build, and their feathering below their knees. Versions of the Shire coats that are allowed by the Shire Association in both the UK and the US differ between what is allowed and what isn't allowed in the breed standard of the horse. Breed standard for coat variations in the UK like black, brown, or gray, but say that no good stallion should be splashed with white patches all over its body or be roan or chestnut. But in the US, they allow the same colors as the UK but add chestnut, but excessive white markings and roan coats are undesirable in the breed. They are also known as the tallest horse and they stand between 16.2 to 18 hands. And the largest shire horse recorded in history was named Mammoth, also known as Samson, and he stood at 21.2 quarter hands, which is about 86.25 inches tall and this was in 1848. Shire horses were bred up to be very strong and calm horses as they were used in the war and for agricultural purposes. So they needed to have a calm temperament and to be very strong to be able to carry heavy armored knights into war. I found quite a few different things about the Shire breed and how they bred it up to be the Shire, but a few sources said that they descended from the great English horse, crossed with a Clydesdale from Scotland, and when Dutch engineers came over to the UK, they bought Phrygian horses, which may have had an influence on the breed. This horse was known as an Old English Black Horse in the 17th century. This horse was later improved in Lancashire, resulting in a horse known as the Bakewell Black. This breed was later bred with horses imported from the Netherlands, which resulted in two types of horses, the Fen Horse and the Packington Blind Horse. But in the mid 17th century, the term Shire Horse was first used and the record started to become incomplete. So I'm not 100% sure. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely let me know down below which horse you think I should do one of these behind the breeds on next. And yes, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.